Hey everyone, this is Sarah with RegisterNurseRN.com and I'm making a video on how to solve IV bolus calculations using dimensional analysis. Before you watch this video, you'll want to go to our website RegisterNurseRN.com and download the worksheet that correlates with this video and download the metric table so you can have that as a reference while we solve these problems. To get the worksheets, you'll go to RegisterNurseRN.com backslash worksheets and click IV bolus. It'll go along with this video. And for the metric table, go to registerednursern.com backslash metric table and get your copy of that so you'll know what's going on with the videos. So let's get started. Problem number one. It says MD orders morphine 0 0.05 milligrams IV every four hours as needed for pain. The vial is labeled two milligrams per ml. How many mls will you give per dose? first problem is asking us how many from the doctor's order he ordered 0.5 milligrams and now the vial that we have which is a vial that has two milligrams per ml how are we going to get draw how many milliliters per dose are we going to draw up when you set up these problems like i like to set them up what the problem's asking me so first what i'm going to do is i'm going to put 0.5 milligrams over how much per dose? When you're using dimensional analysis, if you're not familiar with how to use dimensional analysis, be sure to watch my video on what is dimensional analysis and I go through how to use set up problems doing dimensional analysis because if you don't know how to use dimensional analysis, you might get a little confused. So what we're gonna do with dimensional analysis, you move, you work diagonally, we're gonna move milligrams down because from the problem we are trying to solve for milliliters. So according to the problem, look at your worksheet, we know that our vial has two milligrams per ml. So we're gonna put two milligrams here, and for two milligrams, there's one milliliter. And the doctor has ordered 0.5 milligrams. So we are solving for milliliters, so we are done, because our milligrams cancels out. And we're gonna multiply everything at the top and multiply everything at the bottom. So you get 0.5, and then you get two for the bottom, and you're gonna divide 0.5 divided by two, and that gives you 0 0.25 mLs per dose. So you will draw up 0.25 mLs of morphine out of the two milliliter, two milligram, one milliliter vial syringe, because the doctor only ordered 0.5 milligrams. Okay, let's go to our next problem. Problem two. MD orders Versed four milligrams IV pre-procedural. The vial is labeled one milligram per ml. How many mls will you give per dose? Okay, our next problem is ask, the doctor has ordered the patient to have four milligrams of Versed before their procedure. We have a vial that is marked it has one milligram per ml. So how many milliliters are we gonna draw up to equal the four milligrams that the doctor ordered? We're gonna set our problem up like this, just, how the, just what the doctor ordered. We are going to put four milligrams because that's how much he or she ordered. And we wanna know how many milliliters per dose. With dimensional analysis, you work diagonally. We're gonna move our milligrams down here. And looking back at our problem on our worksheet, we see that the vial is labeled one milligram per ml. So there's one milligram per ml in the vial. And we're solving for milliliters per dose. So we're already where we're supposed to be. Milligrams cancels out. And we are going to divide everything at the top and divide everything at the bottom. So it will be four, one, four times one is four, and then one at the bottom. And then four divided by one is four. So you get four milliliters per dose. And that's the answer to problem number two. Okay, let's do our next problem. Problem three. MD orders heparin 100 units sub-Q daily. The vial is labeled 50 units per ml. How many mLs will you give per dose? Problem, problem number three, the doctor has ordered 100 units of heparin. And in our vial, we are dispensed with 50 units per ml. So how many mLs of that vial are we gonna draw up to give the patient? 
So we're going to set up our problem using dimensional analysis. We set it up first with what the doctor ordered. He ordered 100 units. So we're going to put 100 units. And we want to know how much per dose. We're doing dimensional analysis, so we're going to work diagonally. We're going to move units down here. And we're going to look at our problem. And according to the problem, we are dispensed with 50 units per ml. So the vial contains 50 units per one ml. And we're trying to solve for milliliters per dose. So units cancels out and we're going to solve because we're already at milliliters. We're going to multiply everything at the top. 100 times 1 is 100. And the only thing to multiply at the bottom is 50. 100 divided by 50 is 2. So the answer is 2 milliliters per dose. So we're going to draw up 2 milliliters. Um, and that will equal how much the doctor ordered, which is 100 units. Okay, let's go to our next problem, number four. Problem four. MD orders Benadryl 25 milligrams IV as needed for itching. The vial is labeled 100 micrograms per ml. How many mls will you give per dose? Problem is asking us to solve for um, how many milliliters are per dose. The doctor has ordered 25 milligrams and the vial we have is in micrograms. If you notice, it says 1,000 micrograms per milliliter. So looking at this problem, we know that this is going to be a two-step problem. We're going to have to convert from milli milligrams to micrograms. So what we'll do is we will write what the doctor ordered. He ordered 25 milligrams and we're trying to figure out how many per dose according to the vial we have. We're doing dimensional analysis, so we're going to work diagonally. We're going to move milligrams down, and we're going to look at our problem. And as I pointed out, the vial is labeled in micrograms. So you're saying to yourself, okay, I've got to convert this micrograms that I'm giving, I've got to convert to get to micrograms in order to solve this problem. So this is where the metric table is going to come into play. You're going to look at your metric table, and you know that there is one milligram for a thousand micrograms. So we're gonna say one milligram equals a thousand micrograms because we have to get to micrograms in order to convert and solve this problem. So milligrams cancels out. We're gonna move mil micrograms down at the bottom. And now we can use the information that we're given in our problem. In our problem, it says a thousand micrograms. So there's a thousand micrograms per one ml. And we have got to ml because that's what we're solving for is milliliters. Micrograms cancels out and now we're going to solve. You're going to do 25 times a thousand equals 25,000. And then you're going to multiply everything on the bottom. One times a thousand is a thousand. And then you're going to divide 25,000 divided by 1,000 equals 25. So the answer is 25 milliliters per dose. That's how many milliliters you would have to draw up of Benadryl in order to give 25 milligrams out of the 1,000 microgram vial that you have. Okay, that's how you solve that problem. Let's move to our last problem, number five. Problem five. MD orders digoxin 0.125 milligrams IV stat. The vial is labeled 500 micrograms per 2 mLs. How many mLs will you give per dose? This problem, we are given a doctor's order for digoxin 0.125 milligrams. Our vial that we have is a 500 microgram vial per 2 mLs. So every 2 mLs that you draw up, there's 500 micrograms but the doctor has ordered 0.125 milligrams. So we know by looking at this problem that we're gonna to have to convert from micrograms, from milligrams to micrograms in order to get how many milliliters we're gonna give per dose. So this is gonna be a two-step problem just like our other problem. So let's set our problem up. First, we're gonna write down what the doctor ordered. You always start out with that. He ordered 
0.125 milligrams. We want to know how much per dose we're going to be giving. Dimensional analysis, we work diagonally. We're going to move milligrams down because we got to go from milligrams to micrograms in order to get our milliliters because the problem is in micrograms. That's what we're given. So we're going to have to convert milligrams to micrograms. This is where the metric table comes in. We know according to the metric table that one milligram equals a thousand micrograms. So one milligram equals a thousand micrograms. And now we can plug in their information that we have in our problem with how much we have in our vial. So according to the problem, there's 500 micrograms per two mLs. So we're moving micrograms down. Our milligrams canceled out. So 500 micrograms per two mLs. We got that information from the problem. Now we have got two milliliters because micrograms cancel out and we're ready to solve because we're trying to get to milliliters. So you're going to multiply everything at the top. 0.125 times 1,000 times 2 is 250. Multiply everything at the bottom. 1 times 500 is 500. And we're going to divide 250 divided by 500 and that is 0.5 milliliters per dose. So from your vial that is labeled 500 micrograms, you're going to be drawing up just a half a milliliter in your syringe to give to equal the dose that the doctor ordered. So that is some dimensional analysis on some problems that you'll see in nursing school, how to solve them using dimensional analysis. Now go to our website, registerednursrn.com, and go to the quizzes and test your knowledge to see if you grasp this based on this video. Um, we have a quiz that will test your knowledge on that. It's called the IV Bolus Quiz, among other dosage and calculation quizzes. So I hope you found this useful, and thank you so much for watching, and be sure to check out our other vid videos on dimensional analysis. Thank you.